Well, we've been sedated, which is fantastic. Now it's going to be a week later, which is quite a long time. I feel fine, actually. Besides the fact that I'm missing my arm over there, and you know I've been in a coma for nine years, I'm pretty. I feel pretty good, man. I'm feeling uh. It's pretty been good. one week since you came too. Now let's try getting you out of that bed. I don't. I don't think this is gonna work. You might not want to try this on me here. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages, CPM therapy, and EMS. Now. I need to explain something to you, but you must be alive. Oh yeah, this is where he explains all the damage we've, we've suffered. Nine years ago, you were injured in an explosion. Jesus Christ, I forgot how like, gruesome that looks. Upon examination, we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within you. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone and human teeth. Most of it was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. They are located near your heart and in your skull. Look at this. The fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI, the metal you see, but even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. Yeah, that would suck. I don't need that. Mental and physical impairments are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life-threatening. Well, that's good. Good to know. Fantastic. One more thing. This X-ray is on your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult, but please look down. It's best to see with your own eyes. Up oh, there's my right arm. Looks fantastic. Looks pretty, uh, pretty normal. Ah, uh, and there's my. My, um, not left arm. And now I'm going into panic, which is fantastic. Calm down. Yeah. Calm down. It's gonna be okay. I don't know how you can calm someone down in this situation, though, like, yes. Yes. to be completely down. honest. Like, he lost his arm, he's covered in freaking shrapnel inside of his body. Yes. <laughs> not really something you can just calm down, you know. That's, uh, not really realistic. Now it's two weeks later. Jeez, this guy's been in the hospital for forever. Oh, is this where things start to get crazy? I think this is when things start to get crazy. I'm looking forward to this. Hey, we can zoom in. It's true. There are those who wish he would never woken up. You should be dead. But you're not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear. Now, I know this part here is only for online, but it still makes no sense, like story-wise, I guess. But it's a wide-open world out there. So well, I guess it kind of does. I don't want to spoil the game, though, so I'm not going to mention anything like that. I'm not going to really mention anything story-wise. I don't want to spoil anything for people that are watching this to uh, see the game be played through. I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. What you look like, however... <sighs> yep. I'm just gonna make a super generic person that probably doesn't look anything like me at all. Yeah, let's go with some of that right there. You know, that's fine. We're not gonna be messing with this guy anyways, like so I guess it doesn't really matter. Pretty sure it just matters for online and like possibly some story stuff. Mm. 
Very good. Now let's remove this bandage. I think this is where things get pretty serious, though. This has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection, to hide you from those who want you dead. Yep. About to get serious. Your name is Ahab. Zoom in on that right there. Forget everything. Your name. Your past. <laughs> This doctor has like no idea what's going on behind him at all. I find that really funny. <laughs> this is you as you've lived until this day. Tomorrow, it becomes a phantom. Stuff just got really serious in this game. Okay, we can zoom in super fast. Look at that. Jesus Christ, this guy is getting destroyed. Probably should uh, probably should get out of here. I think that's a good idea of what we should probably do in this situation. Not yet. The patient in the next bed saw my face. Of course, consider it done. That's a pretty big knife. Um, probably should not want to get stabbed by that. And wait for it. There we go. Ishmael is saving our life. Pretty sure that's his name. Or well, not actually his name, but that's all story-based stuff that you'll learn later on in the playthrough, so I'm not gonna spoil it right now. Choke to death here. And there's a the theme song. Possibly more copyrights. Awesome. Gotta love copyright claims on your videos. And now she's on fire. Holy cow. Oh, that's... Okay. Pretty sure the frame rate just dropped there too. Alright, this place is on fire now. Probably should get out of here. Is that a nod to the third game? With the white flowers and the, the final fight with the boss? Pretty sure that was. Okay, have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? We gave her a light. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? You're talking to yourself. I've been watching over you for nine years. You can call me your smile. What the hell is going on? Well, the good news is, here in the land of the living. Bad news? A world wants you to Yeah, that they do. The whole place is coming down. Need a little pick me up? Okay. Here. No. Nothing. Yeah. 